Well, our pitching staff is what you know this team's built on. So, um, you know, I think that we have one of the best, if not the best, in baseball. So, it'll be a huge bonus for us to, to hopefully get Zach back at some point this year. But, um, you know, in the meantime, you know, one through five, we're, we're as good as anybody in baseball. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. As the defending National League champion New York Mets begin preparations for the 2016 season, many have arrived early to their spring training complex in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Among them are Captain David Wright, who looks to bounce back from an injury-riddled 2015 season. Another early arrival to spring training is starter Jacob DeGrom, who told the New York Post earlier this week He'd be willing to listen on a long-term contract extension. In two seasons with the Mets, the 27-year-old has a Rookie of the Year award and an all-star nod to his name and won't be eligible for free agency until 2021. The defending world champion Royals have come to terms on a two-year deal with their third baseman, Mike Boustakis, avoiding arbitration. The 2015 All-Star set career highs in several offensive categories last season batting 284 with 22 home runs and 82 runs batted in. With the signing of Moustakis, the Royals have inked all of their arbitration-eligible players for the 2016 season. According to MLB Network's John Heyman, the White Sox are one of several teams vying for the services of free agent shortstop Ian Desmond. Entering his age 30 season, Desmond hit 233 with 19 homers in 2015 with the Nationals. Because Desmond rejected the Nats' qualifying offer and the White Sox 10th overall pick in the 2016 draft is protected, the club would have to give up their next pick, which is currently 28th overall. Some of the world's premier talent participated in MLB's international showcase in the Dominican Republic. 300 scouts and executives were on hand to evaluate the game's best international prospects. Among those in attendance, Oakland A's general manager David Forst who recognizes the importance of the events. I mean, there's only a couple of ways to bring players into your system. Obviously, the amateur draft and, and internationally, we've seen a lot of organizations make a significant impact in their minor league system and the big leagues through July 2nd signing. So it's really important for us. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of the World Baseball Classic qualifiers in Australia, log on to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.